Hello and welcome back. So I suppose we'll kick off with this video. This is going to be about her Ford. The time has come for her to move on to a new home. Um, we had a bit of fun with this. Kind of that was our uh, that was our goal with it, and tidy up a few little bits and pieces on it just to make it a really really nice one. Put the last final touches on it, but it's a really cool tractor. Even here now, it looks it looks very very cool indeed. So like that, her time has come. We don't really have any use for it. You know, I, I, I kind of bought it that we'd play around with it for a bit and then maybe sell it. And um, that's here we are now. So I'm going to start it up, take it for a drive up the yard and we'll do a right walk around it. So here she is. So we'll give a look around the inside of the cab now. Knock it off. Uh, so basically all our dash is working, but our fuel gauge goes a bit funky from time to time. But um, what, you know, the water temperature, oil pressure, battery, hours, all that is working. So it's displaying 4,500 hours, but who knows how many are really on us? I wouldn't say that's an accurate uh, representation of what hours are on us. It's obviously SLE because it wasn't possible to get uh, an 82 and an 83 in anything else. And the box is lovely in it. It's changing from forward to reverse very nicely. Uh, no big jump in any of the gears. Um, very nice shifting box. The synchronizers were done in it before I got it. It is two spool valves and it isn't showing any lift errors. When you use the lift, the lift is working away as it should. PTO works, uh, but sometimes turns a little. When the tractor is cold, it would be spinning uh, by itself. But if you put it on, um, put it on the machine, it'll it'll stop it. So um probably the pto bend needs squeezing or adjusting but that's um it's not really a big concern and, and it's a job you'd leave until another day uh it's torn here which is nearly impossible to see i'm not torn here now very very rare that they're not damaged there i don't know how they get damaged there is it from people sitting there or what but anyway it's, it's damaged there uh handbrake's working and we'll give a look outside to the other side because the sun is beating down on us it's well well shod on 650s and 540s it's a mean looking machine isn't it it's um the engine has been rebuilt fully rebuilt and it's been turboed and there's been a huge injector pump fitted to it it's like a one off of a a TM or something like that. It's a big Bosch rotary pump in it. And that's a brand new pump. Also has a brand new starter motor. And we got all those old bonnet latches working and things like that because there was a couple of them not right in it. But um, yeah, that's her. At the moment, there is no pickup hitch on it. But, that can either be changed or it can be sold with with this style on it. It doesn't matter. Um, we can put a new one on it if someone needs a new one or if someone is happy to use that system, then the price will reflect that. It's 1994 and it has the external solenoids on the gearbox. The white roof's got a bad reputation because the early ones had internal solenoids, but this one has the external solenoids. So. She's pretty much the exact same tractor as a blue roof. And it's doing pretty much 50 kilometers an hour on the road. I think 49 or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's her. So if you're interested in it, it's on the website. You can contact me through there. I'll put a link in the bottom of the video. And 
we'll chat to you all from there. So I suppose next thing will be give us give you an update on what's going on here and all that. That'll come in time. At the moment, to be honest, I just don't really feel like doing it. Uh, the YouTube game, it's a bit annoying. You'd imagine you should be getting more hits for the amount of effort you put into it, but uh, it's so many like tags and things to fill out like that to the, and descriptions, and I don't really, uh, I suppose I don't really spend the time doing it. So that's that's why the views would be a bit slacker, I suppose. But anyway, um, I think we've about thirty percent rubber in the back and the fronts, maybe twenties. So yeah, if you're interested in this, you'll be able to contact me through the website. Send me a WhatsApp or an email or you can phone me, either one or the other. And we'll chat to you all then. Thank you for looking and we'll see you later.